news, everyone, at least in this Red Gaming Tech.com video, because it would appear that CD Projekt Red have once again confirmed there will be no DRM on The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In fact, Miles Tost has repeated the company's stance, and, you know, CD Projekt Red have always been pretty adamant regarding their philosophy regarding uh, online DRM or DRM as a whole, and he said, and I quote, you'll be able to purchase The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt for PC on GOG from day one. We believe that DRM does more harm to the JIT games than good in the gaming industry. That's why this game will be completely DRM free. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, I've always been fairly clear concerning my concerns, if that makes any sense, regarding DRM. I don't necessarily think it's a great idea, and I actually feel that this is one of the reasons that a lot of games tack on a multiplayer mode as well. Obviously one of the reasons they also do that is to try and entice you to play the game for longer. But let's just be honest, if you look on the internet, most likely you're going to be aware of, well, pirate material, whereas. And to be honest with you, sometimes I've actually done searches in Google regarding just the game, because I'm like, hey, what's this game? I've not heard of this game. Or, hey, is there a review of this game? Or whatever. And sometimes it'll even pop up with, you know, download this torrent. And so my basic point is that most of the time, the cracks are available really quickly anyway. The problem is, not necessarily the, you know, DRM exists, it's a pain in the ass. Origin gets a lot of stick from it, but it's certainly, at least in my opinion, not the biggest culprit out there. I mean, you all know how I felt about games for Windows issues. I mean, there are titles that, which literally will be unplayable. And admittedly, this isn't exactly DRM in some cases, but uh, one of the reasons that they went for it is pretty much DRM. And I think that's absolutely ludicrous when you consider that you've got a DRM system in Steam, and then you've got DRM inside of DRM. That just sucks. And I I don't even feel that uh, Steam is particularly pervasive or bad in terms of DRM. I actually think it's quite a reasonable system. You can play offline, for example, to the most part. But DRM on top of DRM isn't really the thing to do. On the other hand, I do accept that not having any form of anti-piracy measure at all does mean that Joe, who doesn't know anything about PCs really, he could simply just put the game on a disc, take it around his friend's house and copy and paste it onto the desktop. Okay, I'm, admittedly I'm slightly oversimplifying it, but you get the general gist. The basic idea behind DRM, of course, isn't necessarily to prevent people who are knowledgeable in piracy, it's to prevent those who are not that sure and to basically act as kind of a countermeasure in those respect, uh, in respects. So, what basically they're doing, CG Project Red, is they're saying, well, you know what, rather than pissing off our potential customers, what we are going to do is basically go in with the mindset that, hey, you know what, we think that people who are going to pirate are going to pirate regardless, and so the better option is just to reduce the costs, not put DRM on the game, because obviously putting DRM and you know all the anti-piracy measures do actually add to the cost of the title. Instead, just release the game, make a good product, and hopefully enough people will buy it. Now, I'm hoping that that is going to be the case. I really am. I'm hoping that people don't pirate the game. Obviously, some people will. Um, that's just kind of the nature of it, but I'm hoping that the numbers for them are pleasing. They've done all the other titles, you know, the original Witcher 2, for example, Witcher 1, available on GOG as well, which is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. And they're great games. And this is the thing. A lot of developers push and point towards the PC as, like, the market, oh my god, piracy on it is really bad. But I've got to be honest. I mean, maybe this is just the people I know, but... Most of the PC owners that I know are actually pretty good with buying games. I mean, I've got... I don't even know how many games I've got on Steam. Admittedly, some of it is due to the Steam Summer Sales and the Steam Christmas Sales and 
uh, Green Man Gaming and all of these different websites. And, you know, I probably only ha played about half the games that I've got, but hey, I bought them. And I think as long as you've got the good pricing, that's the thing. It's going to do quite well. On the other hand, console gamers, um, I know a couple of people who've got their system modified or hacked or whatever. And I'm not trying to point this as, oh, PC gamers are innocent and console gamers are the ones that are guilty. No, no, no. I'm just merely pointing out that if you give people the tools and the ability to pirate games, they will do it if that's their mindset. And I'm not going to get into the whole preachy attitude about piracy or anything like that, you know, I'm not going to try and convince other people how to uh, game or their mindset, I'm just merely pointing out that I think that if you're going to pirate, you're going to pirate. And I don't necessarily think that DRM is the way to stop you. In fact, what's quite ironic is certain games have actually had to have their piracy, well, anti-piracy methods removed by actual crackers. <laughs> Um, there were a couple of games that come to mind. Codemasters, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Colin McRae. Uh, they actually had to use an anti and basically an OCD crack back in the day because the game basically wouldn't work on certain CD drives. This is way back when, of course. And there are tons of other examples, simply because the game uh, was just so bloody secure that you could literally be waving the physical copy of the disc, put it in the machine, hug it, kiss it, it doesn't matter, it's just going to say, nope, sorry, I don't actually like the DVD drive, why? Because for some reason or another, the DVD drive wasn't really, or the CD drive wasn't detected, or wasn't recognised by the secure ROM software, and therefore it was like, no, I, I actually think you're using this as a virtual CD drive, so sorry bro, not going to recognise that. And unsurprisingly enough, that didn't please the customer base too much, that actually somewhat irritated them. I know that's a shock to you, but yeah, apparently people don't like paying all that money and then not being able to play the sodding game because the game doesn't load because he doesn't recognize the drive. And admittedly, it's not quite so bad now, but let's face it, who does like jumping through DRM hoops, having to activate a game a certain amount of times? Oh shit, I forgot to activate it. Do I mean, does that mean I've lost one activation of the game that I've played? And all of that other shiny stuff, I mean, Microsoft went through this whole issue with the Xbox One, as I'm sure you're doubtlessly aware. So anyway, I could go on a whole rant about this anyway, but I think you get the general gist of where I'm coming from. Anyway, I'll see you soon, take care, and bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>